Storm Team Forecast. Independently certified, the most accurate in Central Kentucky. Thanks for staying with us. We're joined now by Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers. We had a lot of rain yesterday, a little bit of a break today, which was nice, but I don't think we're going to be as lucky this weekend, are Unfortunately, we? Unfortunately, a lot more on the way. And because of all the high water that we've already received, the more that's on the way. Governor Bevin today declared a state of emergency for the entire state just because of the flooding. You can actually see some of this high water. This is drone video shot by Freeman Kelly of the Elkhorn Creek in Scott County. You can just see how high the water is. A lot of roads have actually been cut off just because of the high water. So again, this weekend, as you hear often, turn around, don't drown. If you come up to some high water that's covering the road, don't try to drive through it. We are seeing some heavier pockets of rain now redeveloping, especially for west of I-75, mainly out toward Franklin County. Some of the same areas that don't need the heavy rain. We've had flooding in Franklin County at the Elkhorn Creek, and right now, right around the same area, they're picking up on some rainfall rates closer to about three quarters of an inch to about an inch per hour. So again, Frankfort picking up on some heavier rain. Not as much activity for Lexington and areas further to the east and to the south at this time, but we do expect to have more widespread rain developing overnight. And by later tomorrow, we could actually see some thunderstorms about this time that may be strong to severe. So that's about 24 hours from now. And again, you can see here for most of the viewing area shaded in green, this is a marginal risk. The higher chances for severe weather is in these darker shades of yellow and even the brown here, more of an enhanced. So the further west you go, a better chance for seeing maybe some severe weather in the form of gusty, damaging winds with some storms that will develop, kind of a line of storms expected to develop tomorrow evening. We are all under a flood watch across the bluegrass area, but it does not include south central and southeast Kentucky. So again, even though you're not under a flood watch, you still could have some localized flooding problems because of all the rain. And of course, we picked up quite a bit of rain so far for the month. We've had over eight and a half inches so far, making it the second wettest February on record. And of course, we're expecting more this weekend and even into next week. By Wednesday, the last day of February, could, could even have some more rain. So overnight, more widespread rain develops. Cool and breezy overnight. Tomorrow, we look to have moderate to at times heavy rain, leading to more flooding problems through the day. And then as we go overnight, Saturday into Sunday, could have some severe thunderstorms developing, along with some heavier downpours. Most of the rain tapers off through the day on Sunday. You can see all the rain to our west and southwest. A lot of Gulf moisture just continuing to move back in across the area. Had a frontal boundary system over the area. We've got another cold front that will move across across the area on Sunday. This will finally bring an end to the rain as we go into Sunday afternoon as that moves more off to the east. So midnight tonight into the early morning hours does show more widespread rain developing by around daybreak tomorrow morning. We wake up to temperatures in the 50s as the day goes on. We're back into the upper 60s, so mild and muggy as we head throughout your daytime hours. And you'll need the rain gear, heavy rainfall at times, but just use a lot of caution if you have to travel tomorrow. Five o'clock here, you can see some heavier downpours off to our west. Notice as we go into tomorrow evening, starting to see a line of storms developing here to our west. This is at 8 o'clock as we approach midnight Sunday. That line of storms looked looks to move right over the I-75 corridor. So again, midnight Sunday, about the time frame, we could have some storms moving through the area, and that could provide some wind gusts up around 40 miles per hour with the soggy soil that we have. A lot of trees could easily topple over. That could lead to also some power outages overnight Saturday into Sunday. Sunday morning here at 7 a.m. Rain showers to start off the day, but the rain decreases into the afternoon. Temperatures around 60 degrees Sunday afternoon. Temperatures outside right now across the area, upper 50s to lower 60s. Overnight lows around 52 degrees. Cool to start off tomorrow morning, but as we head into the afternoon, back into the upper 60s, so mild overall. Rain showers at Times moderate to heavy, leading to more flooding issues, and we could again see some strong to possibly severe storms as we go from Saturday evening into the early morning hours of Sunday. Sunday, some rain showers early, but it tapers off for the afternoon, high of 60 degrees. Thankfully, finally, drier weather by early next week, but another round of showers even midweek next week. So definitely stay safe out there. It's mm -hmm. going to yes. be a busy weekend. Thank you, Jason.